Hi, and welcome to this UX Builder tutorial. In this one, I'll show you how to use the responsive options. On the right, you can see the different devices, desktop, tablet, and mobile. Responsive options can be activated for these. However, the desktop always has the default options. We can start by creating an element to demonstrate how responsive options work. Let's create a banner and just choose a preset with some text on. We can then upload a background image to give the banner some depth. Here we go. And we can also add a color overlay to make the text stand out a bit more. Okay. So let's try to create some different options for the different devices. If we go to the text box where all the content is stored, we can then drag everything around as we wish. So if we go to the tablet and drag the text box one step up, we can see that we only moved it on the tablet. If we go back to the desktop, the box will be in the same position. You'll also see a green dot over the tablet, which means that the object that is selected has a different responsive option on that device. Let's see how the page is displayed on the mobile. The options are the same as on the desktop, as the desktop has the default values. The banner is a bit squished, so we can go ahead and increase the width of the text box and decrease the scale of the content inside. That's better. We can now see the green dots on the side of the options that we have changed. And if we go to the banner, none of the devices has any responsive options activated. So we can go ahead and decrease the height of the banner on the mobile. If we go back to the desktop now, the default option is 600 pixels. And it's still on the tablet as well, seeing that no responsive options are activated. Whereas the mobile is now excluded and does not follow the desktop's default value. We can also change the position of the text box. And the tablet also have responsive options activated on the text box. If we go back to the banner, only the mobile has responsive options for it. So if we change the vertical position on the tablet, we can see the green light because it now has a responsive option. And the dot on the horizontal position is white, meaning that the parameter can be given a responsive option. And if we hover over the green activated dot, we can clear the responsive option by clicking on it. And it will now match the desktop's default value. And the same with the mobile. However, the other responsive options you've made will stay. It's only the one option you're removing. Hope that was enough to teach you a little about the responsive options. If not, don't hesitate to contact our support team that works 24-7 to help you with anything related to your flatsome theme.